congratulations on getting this far in the course. Now we're going to actually move on to the part where we start building actual coding projects. Now, this section will guide you through how to uh, apply your knowledge of whatever language you've chosen to a specific problem that sort of is valuable to you. So you pick a problem that you find valuable and then you sort of solve that problem. And because it's valuable to you, you'll get in the weeds, you'll get in the thick of it and you'll have a great understanding about all the nuances and things you have to do to essentially solve this problem. So step one is choose a small project, something valuable to you, pick something that sort of really appeals to you. So for example, if you're a web developer, make a to-do API, or if you're a data analyst, sort of make some integration that can fit in with your CSV analysis or clean data sets or things like that. So pick one that really appeals to you. Then step two will be define in plain English. It doesn't have to be a whole page or, you know, you don't have to go write an essay about it or anything. Just sort of maybe write a few sentences about what problem you're trying to solve and sort of why this thing annoys you so much. Then go ahead and solve it. Then step three is actually very important. This trips me up a lot. So often I go crazy and I'm just like, hey, I want to code as fast as I can. But there's this step three I always forget, which is just write the thing down on pen and paper. So this means you draw boxes and arrows and interfaces squares that represent data classes, you know, little sub squares in those squares that are functions or database schemas or things like that, draw arrows connecting everything. So you can just visually see everything that's going on. Just break. So actually that is step five. Step four is just break it up into milestones. So you essentially will take your diagram and then you'll write a dot point list of possible milestones to just sort of keep the momentum going and you can cross these things off as you go and then start coding. 